tropical rainstorm. Yeah. These are coming down. Again, part of the Habaga. Listen to the intensity of this. Okay, so the rainy season, it's still here. Uh, every time a typhoon or a tropical depression goes up the east side of the Philippines, heading north, we get Habagat. <laughs> That's the southwest, uh, the winds out of the southwest bringing monsoonal moisture. And it seems to hit the west side of Luzon. Uh, it doesn't seem like Visayas is getting it nearly as bad, but uh, here in... Uh, Luzon uh, from the central part where Manila is all the way north uh, Yeah, we experience that So are you renting in the Philippines? Let's talk about it So we noticed some things when we first moved in here uh, the pocket door to the maid's room was was broken and the owners promised to fix it but since then there have been other problems that have popped up uh, mainly drainage. Uh, we started getting mosquitoes here inside the house and we didn't know what was causing that, uh, mainly from our uh, uh, powder room here on the bottom floor. Uh, it's, a, it's a full toilet and bath, but we just use it as a powder room. And I noticed that we keep the door closed and when I'd open it up, there'd be, it'd be full of mosquitoes. So they were coming up out of the drain. We put a screen in there keep the mosquitoes down but uh, it wasn't right because why are the mosquitoes coming in there so we asked if we could have that fixed and yeah they uh, came through and they put all new screened drains in so we can keep that problem out uh, the way the plumbing system is here in the Philippines uh, it's not quite like what you'd get in the western uh, builds but we had other problems. Uh, this house did not have any mirrors in any of the CRs, the uh, toilet and baths. Uh, it made it really hard to shave. Uh, I was doing it with my phone, yeah, no bueno. So we told the owners we were going to buy some mirrors and some glass shelves to go under the mirrors because we have no place to, to put any of our uh, toothbrushes, uh, shaving equipment, whatever. Um, and so we had the handyman come in and it's been busy. Uh, he, the man's been earning his pay. Uh, we got uh, the toilet baths all uh, taken care of now. And we had no places to hang our towels. We were hanging them over uh, the shower curtain rod. And yeah, it just, it wasn't tidy. So, um, <laughs> That was the other thing, the shower rods, they were about a foot too high that they had installed. So I went and got some spring rods and I moved them down about a foot and now our shower curtains will stay inside the shower when we take, uh, take our baths. Um, but they came, uh, our handyman Ray, he came through and he removed uh, the shower rod from uh, the master bathroom and from the common bathroom. Great. That was all awesome, except he's still got to come through and he's got to plug the holes uh, and he's got to paint and things like that. You know, just little things. But if you are renting in the Philippines, you're probably not going to find uh, the Taj Mahal. So, yeah, little little projects. I feel like I'm uh, part of tool time. <laughs> Speaking of tool time, uh, I sent, like I said, uh, 19 Balik Bayon boxes over and about half of those were full of tools and it was a good thing because some of the tools that he needed to do the job I have <laughs> so I went through and I dug out a bunch of my tools so that he could do the job you know it's a it's a relationship you know you help him out a little bit he's doing he's doing something for you we got the owners of the house that are trying to get this house taken care of but if you're renting, sometimes it's uh, not an ideal situation. Most of the homeowners uh, of the homes that are being rented, they don't know what the condition of their homes are. 
if the renters don't tell them, they don't know. So I had promised that the house would be in a lot better condition after we move out than what it was when we moved in. So we're trying. Home improvement day. Uh, we still have three mirrors. Because if you look in here, none of our CRs have mirrors. So we bought three mirrors, and then they got two shelves for the upstairs bathrooms, and two towel bars. And yeah, digging through, finding tools to help them out. Uh, my Ryobi stuff. But anyway, and then we um, had a uh, faucet put in here in the sink. The other one was seized up right here and it would not pivot back and forth and so the whole the whole mechanism was turning in the sink and I was afraid it was going to start coming apart and it just about did. So this one here you can change it from and it's also flex head as you can see. So you can change it from a stream to a okay, from a spray to a string. Okay. 1200 pesos, big deal. Let's see what the owner covers, and we have some other things that's got to get done too. But yeah, home improvement. Okay, so my toilet seats didn't quite fit, but this is an off brand toilet, and best I could do is find Posi, and that's a brand. And uh, sh towel rack, it's the uh, first time we've had a towel rack in here. Um, yeah, this like I said, this house was barely naked with things. and. There was another towel rack up here, and you can see up there. They took that out. They'll come back and they'll patch those holes and paint this. And hey, we got top, we got mirror <laughs> in this bathroom. The other two, well, my stepdaughter's bathroom. We got a uh, new water heater in there. This didn't have a water heater. Again, another shower rod that was way too high. You can see the difference. And that's just to get the shower curtain down here to the to the floor. So you can imagine how far off the ground it was when the shower rod was up that high. People don't think. They don't measure. They don't. Never mind. No. Yeah. Just good enough, right? Not. Okay, so. Again, another toilet seat. Don't fit. Her, um, they mounted her sh little glass shelf a little lower than than what it should be, but eh, there's enough room to get your hand in there, but again, hey, mirror, <laughs> see, but yeah, we're and towel rack in here too, we had that installed, so, we're making little improvements, and ready to leave, and the rain came, and holy cow, it was, it was a torrential rain, um, yeah, it, uh, I walked out, and I had water dripping on the car, in the carport, Okay. Look at that roof is leaking. Here it is dripping down on the car. I hadn't noticed it before. Like I said the car is right here in the middle. And you can see it's been leaking pretty good. You can see it dripping down on the car here. Okay. This is not going well. This house is about ready to fall should never have water dripping out of the hardy board. Uh, that's the stuff they use in lieu of sheetrock here. Uh, it's, it's a concrete based uh, fiber reinforced uh, board. Uh, it's better for tropical climates than what sheetrock. Sheetrock would just fall apart here. Uh, so hardy board is what it is, but still it's not designed to take continued moisture. So I get a little concerned about the roof of the carport if water's getting in the carport, where else is the water migrating to? So we got a little concerned about that. That's the first time I'd noticed water dripping. And we notified uh, the owner's agent. Well, we notified our rental agent who notified the owner's agent who notified the owner. Um, yeah, so Monday, we had Raymond here again. <laughs> or, excuse me, his name's not Raymond. It just Let's just call him Ray. <laughs> I can't pronounce his, his name, but it's Ray, uh, nice guy. 
and he came out and he did a lot of investigating and, and he saw that um, we are getting a lot of rain onto our little patio uh, that's off of our um, off of our dining room and this has been an ongoing thing water just dripping dripping uh, pouring down in between the uh, UPVC uh, it's like a corrugated fiberglass but it's UPVC and a little note about UPVC um, that deteriorates with UV rays yay so that should be changed uh, on a regular basis and I'm pretty sure that this is the same stuff that came when the house was built and again I estimate that this house is around 10 years old yay so we've got some things to do on that it started raining our handyman was supposed to fix our patio uh, here where it's not wet but get the the patio door is wet as can be. Yes, it's raining really hard. And there's the patio out here. And he was supposed to seal this. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, it's not going to focus. Yeah, let's see, it's just pouring in between the house and the this corrugated fiberglass or whatever it is. My stepdaughter said that her shower was backing up, it was flooding, and uh, sure enough, you run the water in there for a little while and water just start, is not draining down. So, uh, that was one of the things that Ray started with first thing this morning. Uh, you can't make this stuff up. I don't know how this happened. Holy gravel. I just be rain. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He pulled a lot of gravel out of there. Now, the only thing I can figure is it had to have been like uh, they had to have concreted in something and gravel got down in the drain. I don't know how. It's on the second floor, uh, but he pulled a lot out. And then uh, the sink in the common bathroom, in my stepdaughter's bathroom, uh, was also slow to drain. He went in there and he found debris in there, construction debris. He found a big long screw. He found a couple other little pieces uh, that had gotten stuck in the, in the plumbing. And he got those out. So, home improvement, home improvement day. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, if you want to rent, uh, expect to have little problems, but if you've got an owner that's willing to save their house, then you can do that. And Ray was up on the roof and he was looking at the roof over the carport. So no this is the roof over our carport. You can see where it's collecting stuff and this entire roof here. Let's see if I can get this out the window a little bit more. I'm up in the bedroom here. Anyway, yeah. Um, there was a big dent back over here. <sighs> Let me get this back in the bars. I got bars on my window here and it's in the bedroom. Anyway, uh, water is collecting. That's what was pouring down into the carport. I got to fix all that. He's already told them that they need to put a membrane over the top of this because that just collecting all this dirt and things up here on the roof and it's dipped down that's where it's collecting and when it dips down it's rolling back underneath the uh, uphill uh, sheet and it's affecting the whole inside of the carport so this is all compromised and like he t like he told me he says this is all got to be fixed so stay tuned for that but looking across over here to the neighbors you can see that they don't have that problem with theirs uh, and it's just the design of the of the house and that house across the street is this one here is the same model as what we have so yeah it's uh, this is not right again uh, something they've got to do and they probably uh, dented it all down and everything walking on it it's not designed to be walked. so 
there's uh, the question of what are they going to do. Either they can throw a membrane over that whole carport roof or they can rip up the uh, all of the metal, put new metal in. Yeah, that's expensive. I don't think they want to do that, but they've got to do something because of the dents in each one of the channels. Uh, water, you can see, has uh, just stood there, and that's not that's not a good thing because water will migrate, um, and that's where the leak for the uh, carport's coming from. The uh, UPVC that's uh, over our little deck, that's um, outside of the dining room. He says that they need three sheets of UPVC and they will turn those 90 degrees. And uh, he agreed that that's the way it should have been oriented in the first place. Somebody didn't do it. And you see the problem. Well, he sealed this up again, but I'm noticing he cracked the edge of this when he was climbing up on there. So I don't know. He's going to have to seal that or something because it's going to pour down still right there. Ah, fix one thing, break another, right? You still see there's water up here, so it's not draining off. They, they got the lines running the wrong way. If they're going to have it drain off, and they need, the lines need to be 90 degrees from here. This uh, pole was one of the things that I'd mentioned that was up there, but I don't know. I'm going to talk to him, see what he's going to do about fixing this part here. Otherwise, it's going to continue to... Or down here on the patio here. You hear him pounding in here. I'll take you in and show, him, show you what he's doing there. But he's fixing this roller here. You see the <laughs> door's tilted so he can get to it. Uh, yeah, he's going to get this where this pocket door works again. It was pulled out up here on top. And he just moved the... Uh, it was right here is where it pulled out. So he just moved the mount over a little bit. Let's see if this thing works after he's done. He's pretty creative. He's been doing a lot. Otherwise, he was going to have to pull all of this inside out. So, did that. You just have to work with the owners on these things. Um, this back wall here, uh, we're still trying to get this done. The uh, rain gutter system, um, we're trying to get that done. He's coming again tomorrow. He's going to do some more. I'm not going to record all that, but up here on the top, there's flashing that comes from the from this wall here down to the roof, and you saw that this whole back wall got wet. Um, the flashing, the the uh, sealant on the flashing, has just worn out, so that's why we're starting to get water in here. We still don't know the urinary problem that the wall has here. Uh, while he's up there, he's going to look and see there might be a hole that goes straight down. Because remember, this is all hollow block back here. And if it comes straight down and it wasn't ever filled, he can fill it from up above. But this is, this is like four meters high, maybe five meters high. I don't know. I haven't gotten a tape measure out to actually measure it. But this is a tall wall here. And it separates our subdivision from the provinces which are behind us. And uh, yeah, it, we're going to figure this out. <laughs> Uh, it, it's a it's a mystery to me. I don't know why the wall has that one little pinhole in it, and and when it rains really hard, uh, yeah, the wall gets a urinary tract infection or urinary problem here. This is where it's dripping from here, and you see it's leaking down the back wall here. That's in addition to this. Yeah, anywhere I sit past this line, I'm getting wet. See that? Yeah. It's dripping here. It's just splashing back up into this area. Yeah. That's no bueno. So you can see the water is inside. Where the overhang goes. The overhang is way up there. But you see it's wet all up and down through here. If you can hear me over the rain, I see water patients sliding back in here. It's still dripping. You see it's raining inside here. 
and that's not just the uh, wall having a few marriage problem. Water is splashing, uh, raining inside here, so somewhere in here, this is compromised. And this whole patio is not constructed dry, there's something, see the insulation hanging down there. No oh, problem with the rental house. Right. For the first time since we've been here, that's been two months. Uh, we've been here for two months, haven't we? Yeah, wow. Well, so I'd ask asked Christine. This door works, and thank goodness that we have Ray. You can see it. it opens right up. Yeah, now I can hide these ugly Bollock Bion boxes. <laughs> and, yeah, just the way it's supposed to. So, a little bit at a time. Uh, you know, we got a one year lease on this house. We've been here for two months, and uh, yeah, it's uh, a lot of work to get this done. Fortunately, the owners don't want to lose the house, and they know that water will destroy the house. They own the house next door, also. Uh, it's currently vacant. Ray was telling me that he's going to be spending about two weeks in there trying to fix a lot of things. So, Again, the owners did not know uh, the condition of all these little things. Nobody's told them in the past. Yeah, well, I'm a little bit different of a character, and I tell them. Uh, my wife gets a little upset because of all this, thinks that we're paying way too much for the house. And I told her, I said, it's not a matter of how much we're paying. It's a matter of getting things fixed. So we're slowly getting things fixed, but... I just thought I'd take you on a little tool time uh, home improvement uh, <laughs> tour of, of what's going on. And yeah, it's a process, but we'll catch you on another journey.